In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we have gathered this morning to celebrate these most sacred mysteries, today throughout the church we celebrate the great feast of the ascension of our Lord. And it is in celebrating this that our Savior took the right hand hand of our Father, his place, so that he could send the Spirit that we will celebrate in the Feast of Pentecost next week. But this feast reminds us of God's great heavenly kingdom and all he has in store for those who open their hearts in faith. So as we've gathered to celebrate this morning, it is in worshiping our loving Father and celebrating that faith in which Christ ascended to allow us to know of the fulfillment of his promise. And as we celebrate this Mass this morning, I'm Monsignor Steve Ketchell, pastor of St. Patrick's Parish in Onalaska. And with me this morning are the wonderful students of Blessed Sacrament Elementary School in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with the devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before us in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles who, whom he had chosen. He pre presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witness in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him fr from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. 
God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you people, clap your hands, shout to, the God, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God, God mounts his throne, throne to shouts of joy, blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nation, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revolution, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory and his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, and power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all his things beneath his feet and give, gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given over to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the ages. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Ascension. Of all the feasts of Christ, I think the Ascension is the one that is least understood, but one of the most important. And why is it so important? because it answers so many questions for us. I love hearing the first reading and the line, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there? The same sentence could be said about us in the Diocese of La Crosse. People of La Crosse, why are you standing there? Do you realize what has now been accomplished and done for you? Christ, in their midst, rises to heaven. 
And by the mere fact of that action, answers for us that question that so many doubters ask, does heaven exist? Today's feast answers that question. Yes, yes, heaven exists. Because if it didn't, where would Jesus be going? I love talking with my first graders and kindergartners because when we talk about the ascension, they know the answer. When Jesus ascended, where did he go? They all know it's heaven. And so with that answer, why are we standing here? Knowing that God has prepared that great place for us, why aren't we rejoicing in the great future that he has in store? And more importantly, why did Jesus ascend? So that he could send the Spirit. Last week, we heard Jesus telling us that he will not leave us orphaned and that he would be with us until the end of time. And he is with us throughout the church with the Spirit, that great feast we celebrate next week. And so the Ascension, it is our future that we truly celebrate, that Jesus has prepared a place for us, and that opening our hearts and not just standing there to the Spirit, we too one day will ascend to that great glory. For where Christ has gone, it is we who hope to follow. And with the Holy Spirit within our hearts, we will no longer stand but move to the heavenly direction. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is Suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I confess and that in for the greatest of sins, and for the force of the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, through the common prayer, let us pray to God, and only, not only for ourselves, but for also all of our needs, but also for the needs of the whole world. For all Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass in their parish church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who call upon Christ in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the attention submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be found pleasing and acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. We offer our sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to know the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up into the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, con conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the heights of heaven as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself, from our lowly state, but that we, in his members, might be confident in following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Um. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we now have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grand peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of that peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, my soul shall be Only this I want, but to know. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day his only begotten Son, pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to, the, to ascend where he has gone. Amen. May he grant that as Christ, after his resurrection, was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, may he show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated at the, with the Father in his majesty. Know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the love and peace of Christ our Lord.
Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Now what a glorious Easter morning it is. He has risen and it's his resurrection from the dead that is the source of our joy and our hope. Each time we come together at Sunday Mass, the joy of the new life in Christ becomes ours. While you are watching, know that the petitions you send to us are remembered at each Mass. I'd like to thank you for your support both in prayer and your financial support. If you are able to help defray the costs of this Sunday Mass, please consider sending a donation in any amount to the address listed on the screen. Thank you. Thank you very much. May God bless you this Sunday morning.